A Belarusian hacker group claims to have hacked the state railway's computer system. The hackers are blackmailing the Belarusian government with so-called ransomware. They want to disrupt railway operations after a transport of Russian troops arrived in Belarus. Cybersecurity experts have long warned about hacker attacks against states. How real is that threat? How dangerous is ransomware for our state infrastructure such as railway systems, electricity and water? Can what happened in Belarus happen elsewhere? Well, the hackers say they have breached the computer system of the railway network and encrypted the data stored there. They are offering to hand over decryption keys, but only if their political demands are met. That is clearly blackmail and the price is high. The Belarusian opposition hacker group is asking the government to release political prisoners and prevent the presence of Russian troops in Belarus. Previously, troops had come to Belarus for joint military operations. These movements on Belarusian soil are adding to tensions between Russia and the West over an impending Russian invasion in Ukraine. Blackmail using ransomware can hit infrastructure all around the world, but how does it work? Ransomware is a type of malicious software. It encrypts all data on the device or network that is being attacked. It threatens the destruction or publication of such data unless a ransom, often in crypto, is paid in exchange for the decryption keys. And these attacks happen everywhere. A survey carried out by a cybersecurity company in 2021 finds that 37% of all organizations included in the survey were attacked with ransomware within the last year. In India, this number is as high as 68%. There have already been serious attacks on infrastructure before. According to an FBI report, between September 2020 and August 2021, four ransomware attacks hit the US water and wastewater systems. The hackers disrupted the fresh water supply in order to blackmail authorities and get their ransom. Another common target, hospitals. In September 2020, the Düsseldorf University Hospital was hit. During the attack, several servers were encrypted, which put even patients' health at risk. But to be fair, the hackers didn't intend to attack the hospital and instead had the Düsseldorf University in mind. After finding out about their actual target, they released the decryption keys without getting their ransom. In April 2021, the biggest fuel pipeline in the US, Colonial, was hacked and out of order for six days. The attack led to shortages at gas stations all along the US East Coast, until Colonial Pipeline gave in and paid $4.4 million in Bitcoin. In Belarus, for the first time, ransomware hackers have political demands and aren't after money. Experts think that we will see a surge of ransomware attacks and crucial infrastructure will always be a popular target. There is a lot being done to keep it safe, but when infrastructure like railway and electricity systems were built, no one thought of cyber security. Digital security networks are often only being implemented after. That's why they are complex and prone to errors. In the US, authorities are already on high alert. Christopher Ray, the director of the FBI, said in an interview, the scale of this problem is one that I think the country has to come to terms with. What do you think? Will ransomware attacks soon be a standard trick for activists and freedom fighters, but also terror organizations? See you again next time. Bye-bye.